You want asteroids. There's pirates. Every minute that you're mining, you're waiting for that sound of your ship being destroyed. There has to be a better way. Fear not. There is. After a couple of close calls myself, narrowly escaping uh, death, uh, having ventured only a, a few SU into the PvP zone, it became clear that we need to break the meta. We need some tools to just tip the scales a little bit in our favour, just to buy ourselves those few precious minutes to get back into the safe zone with our ore. Introducing the Mega Boss Lord Asteroid Defense System. It's a two-part system. I'm going to quickly walk you through the two elements of this system and the strategies that go with each of these parts. First part you can see in front of me here is a basic rocket. In the kit comes an excess, extra small, a small. The cost of materials and parts for the extra small is not even a couple of thousand quanta. So you can go nuts with these at very low cost. Small, you're looking at about uh, 10k per missile. I'll explain in a moment why that's important. Basically, there's two benefits of this strategy. Two outcomes that uh, deploying these units uh, will achieve. First outcome, you've got a core, you've got the construct named with the same name as your ship. This means when the pirates come into range and they scan, they're going to see multiple instances of that ship name, which is why there's sizes of missile available to match the core size of your ship. They will have to scan through multiple uh, constructs to identify which is actually your ship. That's the first benefit. Second benefit of having these rockets firing off around your asteroid, I will jump straight into a demonstration. If we activate this rocket very simple lua will just basically go full thrust off it goes that simple now if i go to my constructs one kilometer that rocket uh, which was named asteroid scout i know it's not the other asteroid scout which is parked behind me 60 meters away that asteroid scout which has the same name uh, is now one kilometer away what will happen when you fire a construct like that on remote control is it will hit the limit of the range of the remote controller and it will become a parked construct. That means you now have an indestructible object parked one kilometer away from your location. At two, three thousand quanters per rocket, if you've got the headroom on your uh, core count in your org, you can fire 50 of these things and create a minefield around your asteroid. Further confounding the scanners of the pirates, they have to scan through 50 cores to try and figure out which one is actually your ship. Pick one for an ambush. Secondly, they will have to uh, avoid collision with those multiple objects, uh, given that they are now parked constructs, if they collide with that construct. At space speeds, they are screwed. So... You build, build multiple rockets, fire multiple rockets, all with the same construct name as your ship, and off you go, start mining. You've bought yourself a few precious minutes. Now, the obvious problem with the basic rocket solution is all they have to do is periscope each of those constructs, scan it, periscope it, and they can tell it's not your ship. It's going to visibly be a, a rocket. But at a couple of thousand quanta per rocket, it's a much more cheap, scalable solution for creating a minefield around your asteroid. This leads to part two of the asteroid defense system. Some of you will have noticed uh, this ship parked in the background here. It is a N841 Eclipse, which you can purchase from UEF. At least it looks like an Eclipse. If we move closer... 
you'll notice that all these elements aren't elements. These uh, voxel-based replicas of your adjusters and brakes and and whatnot. This entire construct is built 100% out of voxels. All it has is the one space engine, same as the rocket, and the strategy is much the same. Because of all of the honeycomb in this version, you're looking at about 100k quanta to build and deploy one of these. So, not as cheap as the rocket, but you fire a couple of these off at 100k per, and you further confound the pirates when they're scanning. They will scan, they will see the core, they will periscope, and they will see what looks like an actual ship. Park a couple of these around your asteroid, 100,000 per um, collateral uh, cost of getting your ore and getting off the asteroid alive. Obviously, if enough pirates see this video, they'll know to look out for eclipses. So go to the three-dimensional chess and actually use an eclipse uh, if this strategy becomes uh, common knowledge. Uh, in which case, they'll be scanning through all of these constructs, periscoping them, and they all look identical. Inversely, you could just as easily um, copy the honeycomb off your ship paste it into one of these constructs, copy these elements, use in this blueprint, use the adjuster, use the brake, um, air brake, use the, the ailerons, voxels, paste them onto your construct to simulate your elements. Um, otherwise, they will be able to tell on the periscope that there's no actual elements on the ship that they're looking at. Um, this uh, there's a couple of other tricks in the honeycomb on this ship too, which um, you might find valuable. This is minimum voxel count possible for this shape. The curves are all, which is why it looks a bit untidy inside. The curves are all one voxel thick, which took uh, a little bit of extra work to get to smooth this and get this looking like a rounded shape with only one voxel depth. But uh, you're looking at, um, for the total honeycomb for this ship, you're looking at um, a couple of hundred um, cubes of uh, honeycomb. That's it. Super light, super cheap. Uh, in your inventory, you're looking at a couple of tons for all the honeycomb and the engine and the core and the remote controller and the fuel tank, which is all you need to... Um, create a decoy ship. So, the defense system includes versions of the, the rocket to match the core sizes, and it includes the decoy ship, uh, which you can see here. And that's it. The whole system, I'm selling it cheap to um, disrupt the current meta. 100k uh, for the entire kit at the Mega Boss Lord store. Or you get all of those blueprints for the rockets and the decoy ship uh, for free in the uh, with the blueprint for the asteroid scout. So that's it. Um, happy asteroid mining.